Good morning, my friends, and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. Today is uh, September 9th, and we celebrate the memorial of St. Peter Claver. Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Friends coming together as God's family, we call to mind our sins and our failures, and we ask God to grant us pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver, a slave of slaves, and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you are also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The Word of the Lord. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. 
Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them. And lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be, the chil- you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. For many people, even those who identify themselves as Christians, our Gospel today is probably one of the most difficult uh, passages because it seems to express an idealism that is totally unrealistic and unattainable. We live in a world of great violence, of terrorism, of increasing litigation, suing and counter-suing, violence and murder, of vicious vendettas often stirred up in the tabloid press and other media, the horror of terrorist attacks on the innocent. We would remember you know, 9-11 event. Are these things not to be avenged? Where do the words of Jesus fit in here? Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who treat you badly. The first big hurdle is the word love. For us, it is a very emotional word implying both affection and intimacy. For us, to love is often to be in love with or to be attracted to. But Jesus is not telling us to be in love with our enemies. He's not even telling us to like them. The Greek verb which the gospel uses is agapao, from which the noun agape comes from. Agape is a special kind of love. It is not the physically expressed love of lovers, nor it is the love of close friends. Rather, it is an attitude of positive regard towards other people by which I wish for their well-being. This, in fact, is the love that God has for us. God reaches out in infinite love to every single person without exception. God wishes every person to experience that love. God wishes the fullest well-being of every single person if that love of His, even if that love of His is not returned. And though it is often rejected or ignored, it continues unabated. Like the father in the story of the prodigal son waiting for his son to come back. The father continues to love his son even in his lowest moments of sinfulness. The second big word is the word enemies. Who are our enemies? Our enemies are not those whom we hate or want to do harm to. Rather, they are people who are, who are hostile to us, wanting to harm us, to take revenge, or even destroy us. There are two ways we can deal with such people. We can set out to take revenge or work on turning them as your friend. So when Jesus says, love your enemies, he invites us not to retaliate against those who are hostile to us. Because we know responding hostility to another hostility will end up nowhere. But the Lord invites us to desire the good of the other, including our enemies, even the good of those who may be hostile to us. This is not tolerance. This does not mean we tolerate them for their actions, no. But this is 
one that realizes that hate against hate is not a creative force. It is destructive. Love as a response, even to hate, is the only creative force because it saves the one receiving love. It can, in fact, change even the person who loves, even though it hurts. Perhaps the words of the late Mother Teresa are appropriate here. Love, to be true, has to hurt. I must be willing to give whatever it takes not to harm other people, and in fact, to do good to them. This requires that I be willing to give until it hurts. Otherwise, there is no love in me, and I bring injustice, not peace, to those around me. Amen. United in God's love, we now offer these petitions for ourselves and for the whole world. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen us in unity in our witness to the gospel message we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God give them the grace to work together cooperatively so that all nations may know Christ's peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to racial injustice and an increased respect for the dignity of all God's people, through, through the intercession of St. Peter Claver, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community here at St. Paul, may we be strengthened with the gift of the Spirit to exemplify compassion, patience, and love in our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God's light shine upon them as they enter the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in our silence, we offer to the Lord the deepest desires of our hearts. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. And so pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Peter Claver, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Peter Claver, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. And drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Let us 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, my dear friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and, strength, and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Peter Claver, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, keep you, comfort you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.